Good morning, people. This is Scott Woods. I'm from Transportation Training Group, and my company is Equipment Expeditors. I own a freight brokerage, a freight forwarding company. I also own pilot cars and a permitting company. Now, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to give you a walkthrough of a heavy haul load. Now, I'm making this from an iPhone, so please give me a little uh, <laughs> slack on this one. Now, I'm going to introduce you to the cost associated with moving a heavy haul load. And I'm going to explain why a lot of people who get into freight brokering will never broker this type of freight simply because they do not know the equipment that it takes to haul it, the cost associated with it, or the equipment types that goes on it. Now, I'm going to start up here with the tractor, all right, or the truck. Now, that truck is a Kenworth W990, and it's a four axle, as you can see, or a three plus one. Depends on how you want to use your terminology because the axle right behind that tractor is a drop axle. All right, he'll depress, the driver, Brian, will depress the axle once we start moving, and it'll start rolling with the rest of the load. Now, that truck right there, you buy it new, it's $300,000. That back box, you'll see that chrome box where he stores his chains and stuff, that's five, six thousand dollars. All right, inside that truck, he's gonna have all the comforts of home. You know, some drivers have uh, satellite TV, some guys just stream with their Hulu accounts, stuff like that, but he's also got a mobile office with complete internet. He's got hot plates, you know, for cooking food, microwaves, got a real nice bunk stuff like that all right now I'm gonna walk you through this trailer all right this is the way he's got it set up that's a 13 axle configuration and that load that we have on right now is a Caterpillar 773 rock truck our gross weight at this point is 186,000 pounds now that's actually not a lot we can actually get this up to about 250,000 pound depending upon the load. But we're taking this load from Paducah, Kentucky, down to Dallas. We've got four of these to move back to back to back. We'll just load one up, deliver it, deadhead back, pick up another one, and go. Ironically, these rock trucks, we took to Paducah, Kentucky, out of Montana about a year ago. All right, now, this trailer is made by Trail King. All right, and when you're dealing with heavy haul trailers, it's kind of like building with Legos or an erector set as a kid because there's several components involved in this. All right, you'll see right there on his fifth wheel that's above those three tires. All right, that's the first component of the trailer. Now, it's hydraulic, it can move up and down, you know, as far as that goes because this trailer is actually just a seven axle trailer, but there's been some components added right there where it says t254 in front of that truck that is called a jeep all right that's been added to this trailer so we can scale more weight the trailer configuration behind the second set of three axles where the rock truck is actually sitting on that is a beam trailer this is tailor-made to run rock trucks bulldozers wheel cranes wheel loaders, things like that, so the tires or the tracks will straddle the beam and you can get the height down on the load. You know, and because we want to get the height down as low as we can to avoid using what's called a pole car in the state so we can clear the bridges and things like that. And it'll help with routing, things of that nature, because the less miles, you know, make more money. Behind the... Uh, rock truck itself is the another rear set of axles on the trailer that's the actual main axles of the beam trailer behind that you'll find that last set of three axles you'll find what's called the booster now when you put it all together you got 13 axles and you can haul a load like this you know where as I said it's 186,000 pounds that complete setup that you're looking at is five to six hundred thousand dollars just on the trailer so between the truck 
the trailer, the Jeep, the booster, you're looking at a million dollar setup right there, all right? Now, we haven't even thought about permits yet to move this. Now, we're sitting in a little truck stop in Osceola, Arkansas, all right? And the permits just to run 300 miles of Arkansas were 1,200 bucks. Now, there's a guy gassing up. He's gonna be coming into the video, so we're gonna let him roll through here. Just to run through Arkansas, the permit was 1,200 bucks. All right, I don't know what they were for Kentucky. Um, we only spent 70 miles in Missouri. Don't know what they were there. I did not pull them, did not, you know, ask about them either. But this trailer, a lot of people are wondering, how much do these trailers make? Well, that set up right there, and I'm gonna give you average rates because they can go higher depending on the load. This setup is going to get anywhere from 18 to $25 per mile. A lot of guys in the trucking industry don't even know that, all right? And I talk to a lot of people that go through my training program and they're like, you know, how do I bid heavy haul? How do I bid heavy haul? You know, and a lot of people that don't go through my training program are often asking me this and I said, well, I'll teach you that, all right? Because these are the money loads. As a broker on this load, this is the load that you can make seven to $10,000 off of, all right? Now, and that's why people want to get in it. The, the drivers that want to get in this, you know, they want to get in it because they make more money on loads like this versus pulling a dry van load or a refrigerated load, all right? Now, I haven't even talked about all the chains, the straps, you know, that's another 10 grand outfit this trailer just with, you know, your dunnage that you're going to need to secure loads like this, you know? your pilot cars on this load. There's gonna be one of my pilots on this load and he'll make about $2,000. It's about an 850 mile load. He'll make about $2,000 every time he uh, picks up one of these and drops it off and then we'll deadhead back up. And we have four of these to do. We'll get them done in 10 days. All right, so in that 10 day period, you know, he'll, he'll make about 8,000 bucks, you know, for driving uh, the pilot car. And I'll make a video of that separately. But that's some of the costs associated with moving heavy haul, and that's how you break down these trailers and equipment. If you want to learn how to move this type of freight, you contact me. I have the number one freight broker training program in America. We're the real deal. We have been for 25 years. We're not one of these clowns you're going to find on YouTube that don't know their ass from a hole in the ground, and there are lots of them. Don't blow your money, people. Don't listen to these people that don't know what they're talking about that really don't know what they're doing moving freight or you'll be well on your way to bankruptcy i'll show you how to make starting a hundred grand a year brokering freight contact us on our website www.freightbrokertraining.com that's www.freightbrokertraining.com give us a call 888-854-6270 everyone have a great day